Companies and organizations often change their logos or identity in a bid to move with the times or to reflect a change in the products or services they sell. But it doesn't always go to plan. Here are 10 worst rebranding failures. 10. Animal Planet is a popular TV station. Its logo featured an elephant and the earth, which showed what the channel was about. The new logo, however, chucked all that out the window and said nothing except the name of the channel. For some reason, the letter M was put on its side, maybe to make it look like an animal. But what animal, I'm not quite sure. The logo received mostly negative reception from the public and was one of the worst received of 2008. 9. The new Gap logo was introduced during the busy Christmas period of 2010 with no warning. The new logo took the iconic square logo that had been used for more than 20 years and relegated it to a small square with a horrible typeface used for the Gap name. Due to the poor reception of the logo, Gap performed one of the quickest turnarounds in history and went back to their old logo after just six days. The Gap rebrand was estimated to have cost around $100 million. In 2016 they adopted a new logo using the old typeface minus the blue square. 8. In 2006, Mastercard decided to change their logo and adopt a more 3D approach. The result was a mess that is considered one of the worst ever and they quickly reverted back to their old design. For some reason the extra circle in the new design is not even centred. In 2016 they went with a new logo, a slight variation of their old design, and taking the word Mastercard out of the circles and making Mastercard one word rather than two. 7. Kraft Foods replaced their iconic logo in 2009. It was criticised by the public for its use of Tecton fonts and a smiley. Kraft attempted to improve the logo by flipping the side of the star and changing the colour of the smiley, but it made no difference and they were forced to go back to their original logo. 6. In 2001, Royal Mail decided to change their identity by becoming Consignia. The change didn't go down well with the public, especially as an iconic name and brand were being swapped for a brand identity that, well, had no identity. 2002, they changed back to Royal Mail. It's estimated that it cost around £1.5 million to launch as Consignia and £1 million to change back to Royal Mail. 5. Before Facebook and Twitter, there was a social media site that started it all, MySpace. Over the last decade, MySpace has been losing out to its rivals, and in one attempt to change this, they introduced a new logo. While the new logo does do what it says on the tin, it's a bit bland, and the old logo was iconic. In 2012, they introduced a new logo. Yes, MySpace is still going, uh, taking inspiration from its old logo. Four. Introduced in 2013, Yahoo's new logo is an example of not altering the logo that much, but still making it worse. The old design at least had a little bit of fun about it, but the new one has even less character. In a world where Google is the dominant search engine, Yahoo had the chance to communicate through its logo what, as a company, they were all about, but failed to do so. Three. In 2009, PepsiCo, the owners of Tropicana, decided to completely chuck away the identity of the Tropicana image and brand name. Not only did they do away with their iconic straw in an orange image, but they also took the Tropicana logo, changed it and put it on its side for some unknown reason. The new image was so badly received that sales for Tropicana Pure Premium Juice plummeted 20% and PepsiCo were forced to revert back to their old design. It is estimated that they lost around $137 million in sales in just one month. 2. Introduced in 2013, the new ITV logo gained mixed reception from the public. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. The colours don't go well together. 
and in the rebranding ITV also went from ITV1 back to ITV which is what they were originally known as. The logo was also designed to change colour depending on the program it was used on but in most cases it seems to just get lost. It would have looked better if they had used it for the CITV channel as the colours and style fit in with the children's channel but not for the main channel. 1. This was the official logo used for the London 2012 Olympics at a cost of £400,000. Warfall Lynch, the company who designed the logo, said that London is a city that didn't need the Olympic Games to put itself on the map and so didn't want to implement London landmarks on the logo. I do disagree, I think the logo should have included perhaps the London Eye for the Zero in 2012, for example. This is one of my most hated logos, and don't get me started on those mascots. The London Olympics was a great success. The logo, however, was not, and it's perhaps remembered for all the wrong reasons. Hope you enjoyed my top 10 worst rebranding failures. Which do you hate the most? Do you prefer any of the change logos? What ones have I missed? Let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe for more great content.